Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another grade 12 pass paper question. This specific question is actually a problem solving question from the November 2020 exam. This is question 6.3. So let's jump straight into it. They are saying given that x plus 1 over x is equal to 3 cos a and x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to 2, determine the value of cos 2a without using a calculator. Now we can see that this is a five mark question. Now guys, this is actually a question that comes up in a similar form in grade 10 exams quite often. So what I want you to notice is that you have an x here and then an x squared over there. You have a 1 over x here and then you have a 1 over x squared over there. So what I'm going to do in order to change this first equation, because they want us to write cos 2a equals something, right? So I need to use the cos a somehow. So what I'm actually going to do is in order to get an x squared and a 1 over x squared, I'm going to take this expression and square both sides of this equation, actually. So I'm going to square this expression, and then I'm going to square that expression as well. Let's see what happens. Okay, so when we have x plus 1 over x squared equal to 3 cos a squared. Now guys, what we need to remember is that when you have a binomial squared, I think a very common mistake is to think that you are just squaring the x and then the 1 over x, and that is your answer. But we actually need to remember let me just square that side. We actually need to remember that when you are squaring a bracket, you're actually multiplying that bracket by itself. Now we're going to have to FOIL out here. So we're going to say for FOIL, we're going to do x times x, which is x squared. Okay, so that is the first term there. So there we do get our x squared, which we have over here. Then we're going to do our outers. So we're going to say x times 1 over x. Now, x times 1 over x, these x's are going to cancel each other out. That's actually equal to 1. So when I multiply my outers, I'm going to end up with positive 1. Next up, I'm going to do my inners. So I'm going to have the same product. 1 over x times x again is 1. And then I'm going to do my lasts. So 1 over x times 1 over x is going to be 1 over x squared. So there we have that that is equal to 9 cos squared a. Right, now we are on the right track because now we see that we have the x squared and the 1 over x squared that they were talking about on this side. And what are they saying? x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to Two. So what I can actually do is I can replace the x squared and the 1 over x squared over here with 2. Because they did tell us that x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to 2. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to now replace x squared plus 1 over x squared with 2. But then I also had a plus 1 plus 1, which is another 2. And that is equal to 9 cos squared a. Right, so now what we can do is we can actually simplify this. We have 4 is equal to 9 cos squared a. Now from there, we can say that cos squared a is going to be equal to 4 over 9. Now, how do we go from this to cos 2a, because that is what they're asking us to do. Guys, we need to remember our double angle identity. Now we know that there are three double angle identities for cos 2a. I'll just write them on the side here. We know that cos 2a is equal to cos squared a minus sine squared a. But it is also equal to, let me just leave a bit more space, 1 minus 2 sine squared a. But it is also equal to 2 cos squared a minus one all three of these identities are on the formula sheet now guys i have a cos squared a over there and i have a cos squared a over there so what i'm now going to do is i'm now going to say therefore 
cos 2a because that's what they're asking for in the question right they're saying we need to determine the value of cos 2a cos 2a is equal to 2 cos squared a minus 1 but now like i said already we have the value of cos squared a we know that cos squared a is 4 over 9 so now in the place of cos squared a i'm going to substitute 4 over 9 and then subtract 1 from it you can then type this into the calculator you can work it out in your head if you want to 2 times 4 over 9 is 8 over 9 minus 1 is going to give you negative 1 over 9 and that is the final answer i don't have the mark allocation in front of me but i think that you will get a mark for squaring both sides so your first mark will probably be for this for both sides there then you will get a mark for replacing your x squared plus 1 over x squared with 2. That will be the next mark. You will then get a mark for cos squared a equals 4 over 9. So for making cos squared a the subject. Then your fourth mark will be for using that identity, the one that has the cos squared a in. And then your fifth mark will be for your final answer. Right, guys, like I said, this is a problem solving question, but I hope that that made sense and that you understood my method. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see more of these types of um, videos and please like, share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already.